reporters are joining you, bringing you up to speed with the very latest as far as the story is concerned. Anisha Mathur joins us from the Supreme Court. Samar Srivastav joins us from Varanasi as well. Let's first start with Anisha Mathur. Anisha, all eyes now on the court because the report is going to be submitted to the court and then the court will decide what next. Well, yes, see, tomorrow is going to be a very, very crucial day. First of all, the Varanasi court is due to get the report of this uh, commission which has conducted the entire survey over the last three days. So we'll have to wait and see what the survey, what the court commissioner says within his report, well, in their report, which is filed before the uh, Varanasi court. In addition, there is also the Supreme Court, which will be hearing the petition filed by the Masjid Committee, which has objected to the survey itself saying that this survey and this court commissioner appointment could not have been ordered in the first place because there has been a stay on such proceedings since 1991 and these fresh proceedings are sort of a way to circumvent the 1991 stay. Now, whether or not the Supreme Court chooses to step in, whether or not the Supreme Court uh, gives a stay on the ongoing proceedings is something we'll have to wait and watch for tomorrow. But with both the uh, Varanasi Civil Court and the Apex Court set to hear this matter tomorrow. It is going to be very, very crucial to see. And of course, at the same time, we've got the claims being made by both sides regarding what is being found in the survey. But ultimately, what comes in the report, what comes in the videography, what comes in the survey report is going to make a very, very big impact. But at the same time, the question is about the legality of the survey itself, which is something that the Supreme Court will have to consider. Back to you. That's correct. The legality of the survey is what the Supreme Court would have to consider. In the meanwhile, Samar Srivastava, who is reporting this story, is also getting us all the details. Samar, what is the Hindu side saying at the moment? What is the Muslim side saying? See, it's very clear and evident, but what I can show, uh, tell you, a uh, latest update coming in as per the sources, there will be no submission of report tomorrow at the local court, what we are getting from the sources, as it will take a lot of, ta lot of time to complete the uh, report, because if you talk about that particular videographer, he clearly said the recording is more than five hours, and advocate commissioners have to sit together to see the recording first, and then they'll have to make or compile the particular report to submit, and tomorrow, the day is just few hours left, so tomorrow, the advocate commissioners are likely to move to court to take some other date, be it after two days or three days, but there is unlikely that the report submission will take place tomorrow, what we are getting from sources. And if you talk about the Hindu and Muslim sides, Hindu side is very clear at advocates. Vishnu Jain spoke to India Today TV and said that a shivling was found in near somewhere around the pond and it is around 12 feet 8 inches by diameter and 3 inches inside and could be more inside because there should be a process to, ta to, la to take that into note. While the Muslim side claims that there was no shivling found, but what we got to know from the Hindu side is very clear. But uh, another update in that is that the local court has, uh, has issued an, uh, another order in which that particular area where shivling was find, found as claimed by the Hindu side will be sealed and UP police will be stationed around that particular area area to look after that nobody should enter right. inside that particular area till the next order coming from the local court.